हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू द न्यू वीडियो आई होप यू आर डूइंग गुड इन दिस वीडियो विल सॉल्व अ जावास्क्रिप्ट प्रॉब्लम दैट वाज आस्क टू अ फ्रंट एंड इंजीनियरिंग इंटरव्यू एट एडब्ल्यूएस ऑन सिएटल लोकेशन एज यू कैन सी फ्रॉम द स्क्रीन सो दिस वाज पोस्टेड बाय अनोनिमस यूजर बैक इन 2019 एंड द क्वेश्चन रीड एज वी आर गिवन एन ऑब्जेक्ट अ नेस्टेड ऑब्जेक्ट एज यू कैन सी इन द एग्जांपल देन वी आर गिवन अ फिल्टर फंक्शन and we have to filter the object through the value that passes through the filter function so as you can see right we have a nested object over here then we have a filter function and once we pass the values of this nested object through this filter function right whichever value passes this filter will be part of the result and whichever is not passing or failing the filter will get deleted so this is the one example where we are checking if the value is greater than 0 or not so we are getting in the output as a1 c2 i5 and j6 along with their parents so because j and i i and j is part of it so we are getting h as well as you can see over here then we are getting c because c and h is part of b so we are getting b and then a e is getting deleted because g is minus 4 and once g is getting deleted f is empty so f is not f is also failing the filter so it's getting deleted and similarly once f gets deleted e becomes empty so e also gets deleted similarly d gets deleted so in the final output we have this if you see the second example so it has number as well as strings and the filter function says that return the object whose type is string so that's why we are getting a is getting deleted because it's a number so we are getting b with value c and h everything else get deleted so let's see how we can implement this in javascript let's copy one example from here so that we can use it let's go over there create the object and paste it so we have our sam sample object now let's create the function so here if you see right because once the value gets deleted we have to remove the parents as well so we have to check if the value is getting passed through the filter function or not and second we have to check if the parent object becomes empty or not so we will be following a dfs approach where we will be going in depth first and then we'll go to the sibling so while traversing this object right if we found any nested objects what we do is let's say our iterator comes to b and we are at the b so rather than going from b to c if suppose there is a c object over here what we do is we go in the depth of b first so once we are at the b we will go to the c d e f and g and then because g is failing we'll check this if it is failing we'll delete this entry and then we'll come back and see if f is empty or not so if f is empty we delete this entry to if e is empty we delete this entry to so that's how we are going to implement this it may sound little bit difficult but it's extremely simple to implement so let's create the deep filter and this function will accept the object as well as the filter function so let's get the filter function as well here from here so let's keep it ready so that we can you know just run the test cases so here we have the filter function as well and the sample object now in the deep filter what we'll do is as i explained we'll start iterating the object from top to bottom so let's do that for let key in object this for in loop will provide the keys in the object so at the current depth we have a b and c three keys so let's get the value of the key 
and once we have the value let's test what's the type of value if it is the actual number or it is the object so if it is object we will be recursively calling the same function and we will do the nested filtering so if type of val equal equals to object what we do is we recursively call the same function and we pass the value to it so from here because this will be an object right it will consider this as a fresh object so let's say it consider b as a fresh object and then it will pass the b's value so from here a new iteration will start and the same filter function after that if it is not an object then it must be a value so we have to check if the value is passing the filter or not so here if a value is failing the filter we have to delete the entry so if it is only passing then only we have to keep it so let's say i pass my value to filter function and if the entry is false we have to delete the entry so we will delete it finally see it's doing the check and it calling it recursively so it will go to the depth so here it will go into the recursive call after the recursive call is done it will come back and it will get out of the if block now after the if, if block we will check the current value has become empty object or not so after deleting any of the child right let's say we have deleted g so we have to check if f value is empty or not because we have passed this object in the recursive call so once the call has the recursion has ended it has come out of the if block so now we will check if the value of f is empty or not so to check or to determine if a object is empty object we'll be using the json.stringify that will if the object is empty it will return the empty curly braces as in a string format so if json dot stringify and if the current value has become empty object then delete that too so we will delete the current entry as well now let's see if our function is working properly or not so if you may notice right the function is currently performing the mutation on the object itself that's why it's taking the mutation in place now we'll pass the object and the filter function and after that we'll print the same object because it's taking in place the mutation should happen in place and as you may know objects in javascript are passed as reference so after even after passing it to the function if i call it back so this and these are the same objects so now if you see right our output is as expected the value of a is 1 c 2 i and j so we have successfully removed c because it was an empty object we removed g and then d also now here is a catch so you have to while solving these types of problem right you have to get your things clarified from the interviewer now undefined is also an object in javascript array is also object in javascript so you maybe already know that so you have to get those things clarified like all those edge cases will be handled in the filter function or in the object itself just to show you an example right if i change this g to 1 right it will pass the filter so if you see i am getting g as 1 in the output that's because if an array with the single value is doing any check so that array value will be converted to value and then the check will be performed 
so here this single value one is converted to one and one is greater than and equal to zero that's why it's passing the check so if i add two values to it right you will see that the both the values are becoming part of this output now the result of this is always false but what happens is the type of this value is always object because it is an array so to remove this what you can do is you can add a additional check over here and say if the type of value if it is always object only then so if it is not an array and it is only object then only you have to recursively call the same function so now if you see it is removed from the output similarly if any value is null right if the value of g is null so it will also be part of the output so here you see g null is also considered part of the output this is because null is also an object in javascript to mitigate this or to remove this we have to add additional check here so if the value is a truthy value it is not a false value then only do the deep filter so if it is val val is object and it's not an array let's see if it is getting passed i think it's not getting in the if block it's get, it must be getting in the else block so let's print and check what the value of val over here so null is getting passed in the else block and now this condition must be true so if i check right let's come back here and let's see if i console log this and say null is greater than or equal to 0 so what is the output the output is true that's why it's not getting removed from the result so you have to make sure all these edge cases you get clarified from the interviewer and accordingly handle this so that's it thank you for your time